Hey guys, even here. So this video we're gonna talk about what Jake Wood said about the new judging criteria. It seems like bodybuilding is at a crossroad. If what Jake Wood is saying is true, by the way, Jake Wood, if you don't know, is the owner of the Mr. Olympia and the American Media LLC. If what he's saying is actually gonna happen, it will change the course of bodybuilding entirely. So this female competitor here, her name was Alena Kosinova, passed away, unfortunately. She was an IIBB pro, she was competing in IIBB Europa pro, and moments before stepping on stage, she died. May she rest in peace. Another death in bodybuilding. How many at this point? Too many to count. This event, unfortunate event, triggered... Jake Wood, the owner of the Mr. Olympia, to make a statement about changing the rules of judging because the conditioning is so emphasized and that is the reason why bodybuilders are getting so dry, so shredded, so dehydrated and are dying. So let's go back a little bit, let me tell you what actually happened here. So it all started with this unfortunate death so it says, on 15th August 2021, IBB bodybuilder Alena Hatwani died just a few hours before show. Sources have told that she was getting her final tan when she started to faint out. She fell back to the ground, then she tried to get up and became unconscious. The staff around her noticed and called the ambulance, which came 45 to 60 minutes after the incident, but she didn't make it to the hospital and passed away on her way to the hospital. Then, morning after, Jake Wood made this statement. I am deeply shaken by the loss of Alena. I am not one for empty words. Instead of making posts, I'm making changes. I had a productive meeting with Jim and Tyler Mannion this morning, and we're all sickened by this turn of events. We agreed that conditioning is overemphasized in the judging criteria and something must be done. I will push for changes in all divisions. Coaches and athletes play their part too. I will not say any more here as it may be counterproductive. Criticize me and my organizations as you may, I don't care. What I do care about is greater athlete safety. With that said, I will admit that we've been slow to post a memorial. I am just dumbfounded by the meaning of this and I'm determined to prevent it in the future. I had the utmost respect for Elena Hatwani. I want her passing to have meaning that lasts. Guys, this seems very serious. So it's not just Jake Wood. It's not just Mr. Olympia. It's Jim and Tyler Mannion. That's IFBB. So basically the whole organization, MPC, IFBB, everywhere, all divisions are going to have a change of criteria. Me personally, as a competitor, that may even feel like a relief because I won't have to die down too much, I guess. But then we won't be able to see super shredded physiques on the stage, which is basically what impresses us the most, conditioning. Now, is that really going to prevent deaths in bodybuilding? We're going to talk about that furthermore in a moment. Before we get to that, I'm going to show you something else first. So on this post on Rx Muscle, Boston Lloyd commented... And he had some things to say about why this happened. So he says, enough is enough. This is the third death in two years. Coming out of the Shelby Starner's camp, this is no longer a coincidence. Many others have passed out backstage and have been hospitalized from his protocols. He starts aldactone one month out, then hammers them with diazide for several days. Then in some cases, he tops them off with a loop diuretic. Majority of his chicks need to wear wigs because he hammers them with DHT compounds. He has them run ridiculous amounts of T3 and clan. I never like to blame a death on a coach, but when this happens over and over again, you have to wonder if these coaches stop taking on so many clients and use their brains and manipulate their nutrition, sodium, water, this so-called hobby could be a lot healthier. Then he tags AJ Kelly Robert, we need to do a podcast on this and warn people or this, is, this will continue to happen. So what Boston has to say is that the reason for this happening is, of course, overuse of diuretics. So obviously it's not dieting to be conditioned. 
it's you know doing crazy protocols for days and days with uh, with heavy diuretic usage and that's why these deaths in bodybuilding are happening and also he's talking about the certain coach that coached alina apparently the next thing boston did was actually made a podcast about this coach shelby starnes he named him guru of death i didn't watch it yet i will definitely do it right after i make this video but here is a question that somebody asked him on his Instagram and it was terrifying. The question was how many competitors have died while under his guidance? He says four people. Guys, four people died. And who knows how many went to the hospital and had all kinds of episodes. So, yeah, I don't know who this coach is. I have nothing. I don't know anything about him. I will watch the podcast. I will educate myself. I encourage you guys to do that as well. So you don't mess it up somehow with their ethics or let somebody tell you to do that kind of crazy stuff. Everybody pretty much knows today that you don't really need their ethics to be dry on stage. Even if you do it, you do it a little bit the day before or the day of the show and that's it. Everybody who does their ethics for a week or days before the show, those guys are risking lives. Those guys are definitely uh, hardcore and <laughs> nobody really does that. It's really not necessary. There is a lot of great bodybuilders who were peeled, peeled, shredded, and they say they didn't use any diuretics or very little. I competed last year and my coach gave me some kind of protocol with very little diuretics and I lost like 15 pounds of water in a couple of days. So I know it's not necessary. I wasn't super shredded, I'll admit, but I do know that it's not necessary. I know a lot of people who compete and really this kind of stuff, overuse of diuretics, that's what is killing athletes. It's not dieting. It's not the problem with conditioning criteria. I don't think that's the problem. I think the problem is the lack of education on diuretic usage. I have to say it's very noble that Jake Wood wants to make changes to make bodybuilding safer so we don't have that many deaths. If we keep having so many deaths, bodybuilding may be cancelled. I mean, it's really hard to do that. It's a large, it's a humongous community. It's a big sport. It's not likely to happen, but... What if it becomes illegal because so many people are dying? I do understand where Jake Wood is coming from, but I don't know if that's really the solution. I mean, you guys know that back in the day during the 90s, I think early 2000s, they had the diuretic tests and that didn't really work out. That didn't really work well because there are ways, there are all kinds of different diuretics. Tests really didn't solve the problem. So the only way to really solve it his, well, Jake's solution, and apparently uh, Tyler and Jim Mannion's, is to change criteria in all divisions. Go a step backwards, you know, stop rewarding super crispy shape and start awarding a little bit chubbier, more watery or whatever, kind of softer physiques. I don't know if that's really the, the, the solution. Maybe the solution would be education, you know, educating people that... Choosing too many diuretics is not the answer. That's the reason why they're all dying. That it's not dieting, it's not getting lean. That's not what is killing all these people, it's diuretic usage. So I guess maybe the, the, the best way, the, the fastest way, and probably the only way that really makes sense at this point to prevent this is to actually change the criteria. But maybe, maybe they can think of something else because I don't want to see bodybuilding go a step backwards. I don't want to watch soft physiques on the stage. I really don't. I'm impressed with conditioning, as I'm sure most of you, all of you are. So if this really happens, this is going to be a major change in bodybuilding, a major change. I don't know if this is really realistic. I don't know. Jake didn't really tell us too much, but as soon as he does inform us a little bit more about this, if any events unfold, I will be the first to tell you guys here on YouTube, so subscribe to this bodybuilding news channel. And when we have a topic like this, I'm really curious what the public thinks. I really want to hear your guys' opinions in the comment section down below. It's not only for the algorithm, I really want to hear you guys, so please tell me what you think. Uh, think about it, don't just say anything. Think about it and tell me what you think, and I will make a voting poll soon after you, you watch this video, so you can actually have an opinion on this. I will give you some time to, to form an opinion and tell me how do you feel about it in the comment section and on the voting poll. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching. All the best and bye bye.